Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up a Linode virtual private server with a free SSL certificate. Okay, so this is not one of your typical self-signed you know, root certificates. That's gonna give you one of those errors when you go to it in a web browser. This is a secure, legit SSL certificate from Let's Encrypt that's gonna give your website encryption, okay, and your website's gonna run on the HTTPS protocol, so everything going in and out of your website is secure. So by the end of this video, you're gonna have that in a working website. So if that's something you're interested in, let's get on into the tutorial. Okay, we're gonna do this with Linode. And the first thing I'm gonna do is to actually start up the server that we're gonna be working on. And we can do that in, um, you can actually pick any of these distribution images, um, but there's these this marketplace with pre-installed software. And just for sake of demonstration, we're gonna pick WordPress as our website. Like I said, you can pick any one of these that are gonna have a, you know, a public facing um, presence, but I'm gonna pick WordPress in this case. So go ahead and fill out this information. It's just some basic information uh, as far as like admin, usernames and passwords. I'm just gonna use the same password for all of, every time it asks me a password, I'm gonna use the same one. Probably not the best idea, but just for completeness sake and for making this a quick tutorial, I'll go ahead and do that. Okay, the website title is gonna be Tony's site. It's gonna be hosted at site3.xyz. And we'll leave that as a default Debian 10. I'm gonna put it in California. And as far as the server itself is concerned, the, the physical um, resources, we're gonna get the one gigabyte RAM plan with one CPU core and 25 gigabytes of SSD storage. Okay, we'll put that password in here one more time. I'll associate my SSH keys with the server so I don't have to type the password in when we log in. And we'll go ahead and hit create. Now this usually doesn't take too long, but what we want to look at here first is this IP address. So we need this information right off the bat because we now need to associate our domain name with this IP address. And we can do that with our domain name's DNS setting. So I bought site3.xyz from Namecheap. And you know the same concept applies no matter where you bought your domain name from. Um, you're gonna wanna log in there, find your domain name, go into the settings for it, and specifically we're looking for the DNS settings, so click on the DNS settings. And what we wanna do here is, um, I have some information in here from before, but this is kind of ex exactly what we wanna do. We wanna have an A record for the, the domain name by itself, so it's site3.xyz, and we wanna have an A record for the www version of the website, so www.site3.xyz. And we, instead of these old IP addresses, let's replace them with a new IP address and save those changes. So basically all this is doing is mapping your domain name to that IP address so that when somebody goes to that, I, that domain name in a web browser, it takes them to your server. Okay, so that's gonna be um, you know propagating in the background. Let's go back into Linode and we do have this up and running. So let's go ahead and log into it via SSH. So you can open up a terminal window. Um, if you're on Windows, you can use PuTTY to do the same exact thing. And we're gonna SSH as root to this IP address. So root at this IP address. And uh, don't worry about this. Um, it's because I work a lot inside of Linode and uh, they reuse the IP addresses. So I have to just get rid of some of these old entries in here. Okay, if that didn't make sense, don't worry. So we'll try that again, it should work this time. Go ahead and type yes that you want to continue connecting and now we are on logged on to that server in California. Okay, so um, I know this because like I said, I work with Linode a lot, but the, the, the default web server that they use for the WordPress website is Apache. We can confirm that in etc Apache and, um, oops, I did an LS, CD, ETC, Apache 2. And uh, here we can see all the configuration files for that. We're specifically wanna be looking in the sites available directory. And in here you'll see a WordPress configuration file. So you wanna open that up. And by default, they just use the server name or they just use the IP address for the server name. But what we wanna do is we wanna take that out and we wanna put in the domain name. So for me, it's gonna be site3.xyz. And uh, this is optional, but good practice. We'll put a server, server alias of www.site3.xyz. 
3.xyz. Okay, so the reason we're doing this is um, because now we're going to be installing CertBot. Okay, CertBot is the software that allows Let's Encrypt to issue its free SSL certificates. And what CertBot is going to do is going to read this WordPress configuration file and issue an SSL certificate for that. So let's do that. Let's go ahead and install CertBot. So type in apt get install CertBot. We also want Python dash CertBot dash Apache. Okay, so we'll go ahead and install that, all these packages while that's working. Let's see if site3.xyz is up and running yet. And, you know, it's been, okay, it is. We're running, and you can see it's a non-secure version of the website. That's because we don't have the SSL certificate just yet. We're about to get it. And here we go. Let's do it. Let's run CertBot. So you can type CertBot dash dash Apache to start up the process of the SSL certificate issuance. And it's just going to ask you for some information here. So your email address, Tony at Tony Teaches dot T E A C H E S tech. And it's asking you if you agree with the terms and service. Go ahead and hit A for agree. And do you want them to send you extra emails other than, you know, just the typical um, SSL expiration emails? I'm going to say no. And here we go. Here's what I was talking about the CertBot program is reading that WordPress configuration file that we just edited. It's found that we have um, two different versions of our website, the www version and the non www version. And it's asking us if we want to install an SSL certificate on both of those. So if you do, which is a good idea, go ahead and hit enter, or you can pick just one or the other by entering one or two. Um, I'm going to do it on both of them. So I'll hit enter. Okay. Okay. I see what it is. It's uh, I thought something else was wrong. It's actually just a typo. Okay. So let's edit the um, WordPress configuration file again. I typed in site3.xzy, not xyz. So let's run that again. Certbot Apache. It should save our information. It does. Um, we'll go ahead and hit enter to apply chain or uh, apply the SSL certificate to both of those domain names. Right now, it is verifying that we actually own that domain name. And when that finishes, uh, I think there's just one other step about redirection. Here it is. Do we want to redirect all HTTP traffic to HTTPS? Yes, we do. So we'll pick option two, hit enter, and bam, we now have an SSL certificate installed for our website. Let's test that out. Let's go and refresh this page, site3.xyz, and bam, we got a, a good thing. We got a lockup here, and just we'll talk about this in a bit, but um, let's go into our certificate, and you'll see that we have a Let's Encrypt certificate installed for our website site3.xyz. Now what's up with this jumbo garbage crap? Well, that I'll show you how to fix that. That is because we have a mixture of um, HTTP content, which is insecure in HTTPS content, which is secure. And then we also have our original configuration files for WordPress still pointing to the IP address, which you can see up here. So let's fix that. Let's go in. We can bypass these um, these warnings. Trust me, it's safe. And let's log into WordPress. <clears throat> Excuse me. And let's fix this up. So we'll, in the WordPress admin dashboard, we just want to go into... Uh, what is it? Settings in general. And here is your WordPress address URL and site address. We want to just pretty much kill this and say HTTPS colon slash slash site3.xyz. You'll put your domain name here as well. And we'll use that as a site address in addition. So that looks good. Let's go ahead and save the changes. I think we'll probably get kicked out again. But uh, yeah, we don't even have to log back in. Let's just go to the website itself and we should see a working, a good looking version of our WordPress website now. Everything is served over the secure protocol. It's encrypted. We got that lock icon up here. We set out what we wanted to do. Guys, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. I'll be more than happy to help you out. And um, if you got any value out of this video, give it a thumbs up. It really shows me that um, you're out there, you're needing these type of videos and that you're supporting me. So really appreciate it. And um, if you want to see more videos like this, consider subscribing to this channel, because if you do, I will see you in the next one. <laughs>